Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to be working our way through lesson 26 on code.org. So this lesson involves building a Flappy Bird game and it's actually a pretty easy lesson when compared to some of the other lessons that I've been working through. It basically walks you through step by step how to do each thing and you're just experimenting with changing variables. So let's get started. So this first thing says just attach flap a normal amount to the on click event and then plus press run and that's it that's all it's going to do it's just going to keep flapping basically forever flapping a normal amount and you have to move the bird onto the target so you just click a few times in rapid succession and it'll get you there so that's it oh yeah and puzzle number one in this is just a video that I do encourage you to watch but then puzzle number two is just that little piece we just did. So now we're moving on to puzzle number three. It says, the win run event allows you to run code as soon as your game starts. Try adding a block that sets the level speed when the run button is pressed. So we have this when click, and then we have when run. So we want to set speed, is that what it's asking? Yeah, sets the level speed under the win run. So we'll change it to very fast oh boy okay and then when click that's another event so when we click then oops I missed the target all right I missed it again there we go when click it'll flap normal amount and it went very fast because we set the variable speed all right so continue and we are now in puzzle four so it says now we've added the ground. Attach the end game block to the when hit ground event. So that makes sense. We just drag that over here, add it right there, and then everything else is still normal, and we'll just let it run. Oops, sorry, I keep misclicking. There we go. So run, run, run. I'm flapping, and then if I just let it fall and hit the ground, then it ends the game, and we've completed that puzzle. All right, moving right along to puzzle number five in lesson 26 here. It says, Flappy will fly right through obstacles unless you write code to make him crash. Attach a block to the when hit an obstacle event so that the game ends when Flappy crashes into an obstacle. Makes perfect sense. So we will say end the game right there. We'll hit run, and then we're flapping along, and then we'll let him crash into the obstacle. Oops, I didn't actually crash into the obstacle. It looks like I crashed into the ground. So you don't actually have to hit the target here. You just have to hit the obstacle. All right. And then we will move on to puzzle number six. So then it says, this icon means that this level is part of a larger project. Changes will be saved across these levels. Okay, cool. So what it's doing is it's saving our code that we're writing here and we're building a larger project as we go throughout this lesson. All right, so now it says we've added a scoreboard. So when pass an obstacle, so we're gonna say score point when passing an obstacle. And then we'll just let it run. And we'll keep flapping. Oops. <laughs> if I were any good at this game. All right. And then, come on. Here we go. There we go. Scored one. OK, continue. Excellent. And then here we are again. It says, click the down arrow inside the flap a normal amount to, click, to pick a different flapping power. So we're just going to say flap, flap a random amount. That should be fun. All right, so now we'll just flap, and it's flapping weirdly, but that's okay. That's kind of exactly what we wanted, so flap either large amount or smaller amount each time you click. So that's, let's see if you can still score a point. Okay, so it wants me to score a point. There we go, all right. Puzzle number seven complete, moving right on to puzzle number eight. This lesson's going pretty quick, actually. All right, so now next try changing the scene by attaching a block to the when run event. So when run, we're going to set speed normal, set scene city night. And actually, I'm going to have it, when passing an obstacle, change to a random scene just for fun. So here we go. Oh, I should probably get rid of that flapping a random amount. But there it did it. Yay. Puzzle number eight complete. Moving right on to puzzle number nine. All right, and on this one, it says you can set the background under any event, not just when the game starts. So that's what I just did, set scene random. And I'm going to change this to flap a normal amount here as well. So I already have done this, actually, by setting the scene random to when passing an obstacle. That's what it says in the direction. So we're just going to continue on. 
Oh, it's much better flapping a normal amount. Okay, and I still am no good at it. But here we go, continue going right on to puzzle number 10. All right, so to mix things up, instead of ending the game when Flappy hits an obstacle, try setting the score back to zero. Okay, so when hit obstacle, set score zero. And so because of that variable, it's going to set the score to zero every time we hit an obstacle. You could change that to another number. You could change it to five or whatever you wanted. So here the scene is changing randomly because of my other variables. Oh, it looks like I hit that one obstacle. Three, zero, okay, we're just gonna hit the ground. All right, congratulations, you completed puzzle 10. Cool, all right, moving right along to puzzle number 11, the last and final puzzle in this game, or not in this game, but in this uh, lesson. All right, so create your own Flappy game. So change everything the way I want it to be, cool. And then I'm actually gonna say when passing an obstacle, let's set the speed to uh, random speed, all right. So here we go. Let's see if we can pass an obstacle. Oh, I didn't even pass the obstacle. All right, passed one. Uh, it doesn't really look like the speed's changing much. However, I think it, yeah, it definitely is. You see how slow I'm moving now? Okay, cool. And then we'll hit finish. And then you can actually share this game. You can copy and paste this URL, or you can send it to your phone if you wanna put in a phone number, and you can actually play it within your phone's web browser. Um, and you know it says charges may apply to the recipient. That's just standard text messaging charges They're not going to start billing you to play Flappy Bird within your web browser. So that's kind of a cool thing that code.org does and That's actually it for lesson 26 of code.org So if this video helped you or if you enjoyed it leave a like if you've got questions down below or you want to share links to your own Flappy Bird game that you created go ahead and leave those in the comments down below and that is everything. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.